Okay. Well, he's half naked. <laughs> they are rather horrible, don't they? 
<laughs> Ma'am, I wouldn't whistle. The Carnival might think it disrespectful. Oh, was I whistling? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Miss Diana. She called you sir.
from Prince of Burma. Am I to trust a ruler of Burma? Am I to trust this present they sent me? Or is she a spy? Are you not a spy? My name is Tuktim. You are pleased that I speak English? My name is Tuktim.
presentation to school teacher. How many children have you, Your Majesty? I am only...
Poor child. Oh, no, sir. She is foolish, child, to wish for another man when she has king. But you can't help wishing for a man if he is the man you want. It is strange for a school teacher to talk so romantic. Romantic. I suppose I am. I was very much in love with my late husband, Tom. Tom? When a woman has love like that, she understands all other women who are in love. And she's on their side, too. Even if she's just a school teacher. Tom. Tom. He was pretty in face. Oh, dear, yes. He was very pretty.
tell a going son. What for instance shall I say to him of women? Shall I educate him on the ancient lines? Shall I tell the boy as far as he is able to respect his wives and love his concubines? Shall I tell him
where you belong.
makes a river freeze, and the water becomes so hard that you can walk on it. Walk on water? Yes, walk on water. How is possible? Hard water? It is not only hard, but very slippery too. When people walk on it, they tend to slide and fall down. No, 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 it's not me. Yes, not only do the lakes and rivers freeze, but the raindrops, as they fall from the sky, are turned into small white spots that look like lace. This is called snow. Snow? Spots of lace. Yes, Your Highness. The water freezes on the way down from the sky. Oh, and the raindrops turn into little stars. <laughs> yes, Your Highness. Some are shaped like stars, small, white. There is not a word of truth in it. I do not believe such thing as snow, and I do not believe Siam so big. In other countries, so big. Siam, biggest country in the world. Yeah! What? 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 <laughs> How can schoolroom be so unscientific? Your Majesty, we have had a little misunderstanding. I was describing snow to them, and they refused to believe that there was ever such a thing. Snow? Yes. Snow. <laughs> ah, yes. From mountain top. From the sky. From sky to mountain top. Sire, please. How does it fall from the sky? Like this. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I have seen pictures. Switzerland, land all white, with snow. That's right, Your Majesty. Who is the police? Where a promise has no meaning. 
I will hear no more about this promise. A land where there is talk of honor and a wish for Siam to take her seat among the modern nations of the world. A land where there is talk of great changes, but where everything still remains according to the wishes of the king. You will say no more. I will say no more because I have no more to say. <laughs>
going away. Mother plans to leave on the next day. I am not sure my father will allow your mother to go. I am not sure my mother will allow your mother not to allow her to go. <laughs> Why does your mother admit that she was wrong? I don't believe mother thinks she was wrong. It begins to look as if people do not know when they are right or wrong, even after they have grown up. I have noticed this too. The puzzled. When I left my father a while ago, I heard him talking to himself. He seemed uncertain about many things. I don't believe grown-ups are very certain. I think they only talk as
hour of the night. Oh. One moment, Mr. Chase. Please, come in. Mrs. Anna, will you go to him now? Has he sent for me? No. Well, but he will be glad to see you. He is a deeply wounded man. No one has ever spoken to him as you did today in the schoolroom. Lady Chang, no one has ever behaved to me as His Majesty did today in the schoolroom. And there is more distressing thing. Our agents in Singapore have found letters to British government from people whose greedy eyes are on Siam. They describe King as barbarian and suggest making Siam protectorate. That is outrageous. He has many things I do not like. He is not a barbarian. Then you will help him? You mean advise him? It must not sound like advice. <laughs> King cannot take advice. And if you go to him, he will not bring up subject. You must bring it up to him. I'm sorry, Lady Chang, but I cannot go to him. It is against all of my principles. <coughs> Certainly not without him having asked of me. Oh, but Mrs. Anna, he wished to be no black king with Western ideas. But it is hard for him. And there is something else. Princess taught him. I do not tell King this. This I will deal with in my own way. But for these other things, Mrs. Anna, he need help. He has you. I am not equal to his special needs. He could be a great man, but he needs special help. He needs you. Lady Chen, please do not think I am just being stubborn. But I cannot go to him. I will not. What more can I say to you? This is a man who thinks with his heart his heart is not always wise.
Moses. Moses, Moses, Moses. He is that written by him that the world was created in six days. You know, and I know, it took many ages to create the world. I think he shall have been a fool to have written so. What is uh, your Your Majesty, the Bible wasn't written by men of science, but by men of faith. It was their explanation of the miracle of creation. And it is the same miracle whether it took six days or many centuries. Hmm. You have come to apologize? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but... Good, you apologize. <laughs> Your Majesty, I... I accept. <laughs> Your Majesty, nothing has been said that can alter the fact that in my country, Silence. Tell me about President Ling Kong of America. Shall Mr. Ling Kong be winning this war he is fighting at present? Does he have enough guns and elephants for transporting same? Your Majesty, I don't think they have elephants in America. No elephants? Then I shall send them to them. <laughs> right back to Mr. Ling Kong. Now? Now? When else? Now is always best time. Very well, little Majesty. <clears throat> From Fra Baha Mangut, by the blessing of the highest super agency in the world, of the whole universe, the King of Siam, <laughs> sovereign of all tributary countries adjacent and around in every direction, etc., etc., etc. Do you not have any respect for me? Why is your head higher than mine? I cannot stand it all the time. And in this country, no one's head shall be higher than kings. From now on, in present, you shall so conduct yourself like all other subjects. You mean on the floor? <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I shall try very hard not to let my head be as high as Your Majesty's. But I simply cannot grovel on the floor. I could possibly work that way, or even think. <sighs> you are very difficult to work. <laughs> but you shall have care that head shall never be higher than mine. If I shall sit, you shall sit. If I shall kneel, you shall kneel, etc., etc., etc. Very well, Your Majesty. Is promise? Promise. Good. <laughs> to his royal presidency of the United States in America, Abraham Lincoln, etc. You think so? It has occurred to us. <coughs> It has occurred to us. <laughs> it has occurred to us. <laughs> that in several pairs of young men and women who were turned loose in parts of America, after a while they were increased. Your Majesty, you're just male elephants. <laughs> You put the details. Tonight my mind is on other matters. Very important matters. <coughs> Anything you want to discuss with me? Why should I discuss important matters with a woman? Very well, Your Majesty. I shall go back to my room. May I say good night? Good night. Your Majesty. What, what, what? When the boat arrives from Singapore yesterday. Singapore? Ha! Was there any news? News? Yes, there are news. They call me barbarian. Who? Certain parties who wish to use this as an excuse to steal my country. Suppose you are Queen Victoria and somebody tell you King of Siam is barbarian. Do you believe? Well, I... You will, you will, you will. You believe that I am barbarian because there is no one to speak otherwise. But this is a lie. It 
is a false lie. <laughs> what have you decided to do about it? You guess. <laughs> well, if someone was sending a big lie about me to England, I would try my very best to send the truth to you. Is this what you have decided to do, Your Majesty? Yes. That is what I have decided to do. <laughs> But how? You guess how I shall do this? <laughs> well, my guess is when Sir Edward Ramsay and his party arrived. Ramsay? Ramsay? The British diplomat. I guess. On way to Singapore. When he is here, I shall take an opportunity of expressing my opinion of English thieves, who will be as I am. I shall show them who is barbarian. I will not? No. You will entertain them in an especially grand manner. Then they can return to the Queen and report that you are not a barbarian. Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> this is what I have intended to do. This is the only way to get the better of the British. Stand up to them. Put your best foot forward. <laughs> it is just an expression, Your Majesty. It means Dress up in your best clothes, present your most intelligent men, your most beautiful women. Edward admires beautiful women. Edward? You call him this? Yes. We are old friends. I knew him in Bombay before I was married. Ah. But, shall it be proper for the British dignitary to see my woman with those shoes in the feet? Shall it be proper for them to get the best? They are feet forward. No! Sir Ramsay will go back and tell Queen Victoria I am not buried. Why do you not think of this? We shall dress them up in European fashion. You mean dress them up in dresses? Yes. How many women can you have to sew for you? All women in the kingdom. How many dresses? Well, that depends on how many women are chosen by your majesty. You should tell me which of the women are most like your people for dressing like saying. Wake up! Wake up, everybody! Wives, etc., etc., etc. I should command Chinese artists to paint their best, very pale, and you shall educate them in European customs and manners of presentation. I wonder how much time we shall have. Sir Ramsay is going to go to the last report on summer law. How long it takes depends on how many courts you come into. Let's just say we have one week. One week? Your Majesty, only one week. In this time, the world was created, Moses said. <laughs> Are there any details that nothing of so far? We shall give them a fine dinner, a European dinner. I was going to. And a ball with music. Music? And dancing? Yes, Your Majesty, and dancing. Why do you not think of dancing? It is an inspired idea, Your Majesty. Oh, and we can give them a play. Tuxton has written a version of Uncle Tom's Callum. Ha! We shall give them theatrical performance. We shall show them with barbarians. Let up, let up! Ladies and gentlemen, on Saturday next at 9 o'clock, Bosmer again, we shall give pine dinners, European dinners. We are to instruct stewards that we shall make evidence of our conditions for tasting. I shall taste and toast it for this. You shall say who is most like European for dressing like this. You are to give table for a pious white still for very long table. Also, instruct court, court users to learn music, you are for dancing, etc. What? 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 Am I talking about my children this time? Who? 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 Thank you. 
English, the gunboat. The attack? No, they salute and we enter with fireworks. It is Sir Aaron Ramsey and his party. Now? Now! It must have come direct from Sun Club. No stops. No stops? Your Majesty. Tell them go back. We are not ready. <laughs> not ready? Your Majesty? You do not know, you do not know. I have the best idea I ever get. <laughs> Still, we do it, Your Majesty. You can do it. Tonight, we shall put Europeans to bed. Tomorrow, we shall set them on sightseeing trip. We shall start this minute. Work, work, work. We only have 18 hours, but I believe I shall do it somehow. I shall do it. You shall help me. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> no one shall sleep tonight or tomorrow. We shall work even when the sun shines in the middle of the day. We shall... Ah, priests! Come, come down. First, we shall ask help from Buddha. Back to Bow, bow, bow!
your excellence. Oh, my dear, you're looking lovelier than ever. Why, thank you, Edward. How good a job to do, eh? People you can help, that's it, isn't it? Extraordinary how one can attach to people who need one. Do you hear that? Do you know we can't do that song once? On that? You'll not? Not very often. You should. Are you sure you don't ever give them to me?
scientific dolls who sniff and smell and thereby discover all who run from kings.
tell you what Harriet Beecher Stowe said that Topsy said. I said, I see the wickedest critter in the world. But I do not believe that Topsy is wicked critter, because I am too glad of death of king, of any king who pursues a slave who wishes to join her lover and your majesty. I wish to say to you, I beg of you.
in my country don't accept such gifts from the youth. Well, he is the king. Actually, it has been a rather bad transition. I was intending to ask him for a raise in salary now. And now it will be difficult to ask. Then, I don't suppose you would ask him for me about my raise in salary. I mean, I think I shall do this for you, because this is a very strange world, which men and women can be very blind about those things nearest to them. Thank you, Your Excellency. I'm not sure what you mean by it. No, but that does not matter. And besides, I do not think you will raise your salary anyway. <laughs> ha! Good news and bad news come together. You please stay up all night until we have further reports on acting on top team. I had intended to do so, Your Majesty. Perhaps I better go too. No, no. I wish to talk to you. Is something wrong with top team? I do not know. No one can say this is the most important thing I must tell you. It is of greater interest to me that the English tell you. Secret police have served coffee at the after dinner, and listen when they talk, and report conversation that way. You have been spying on your guests. How else can you learn the truth? It appears I have made an excellent impression. It is clear you do not think me about her. This is what you intended to prove. What we intended to prove. Tell him. What about him? She was missing from Palace. You know something at least. The last time I saw her, she was at the feet of the building. That is the last time anyone has seen her. She never speaks to you of running away. I knew she was unhappy. Why unhappy? She is in Palace of King. What fits her honor for a young girl to be in Palace of King? Your Majesty, if Tufton is caught, will she be punished? Absolutely. What would you do if you were king like me? Well, I would give her a chance to explain. I wouldn't try to be too harsh. Hmm. Your Majesty, what interest to you is just one girl like Tufton? She is just a woman, like a bowl of rice is just another bowl of rice. No different from any other bowl of rice. Now you understand what women But British poets. Ha! You have been reading poetry, Your Majesty. Out of curiosity of a strange idea of love, etc., etc., I tell you, this poetry is nonsense and a silly competition of a present simplicity. A woman is a female who is human. These unforgiving man the human male. A human man is pleased by many women. And all the rest you can hear is fairy tale. If tell me how this fairy tale began, sir. You cannot call it just a poetry. Explain to me why any men are faithful and true to one wife only. They are sick. Well, you do expect women to be faithful. Naturally. Why not? Because it is natural. It's like old time is right. I don't think I can ever make this clear to you. But 
we do not just look at women as just human females. They are women. Take yourself for example. You are not just a human male. I am king. Exactly. So every man is a king and every woman is a queen when they are in love with each other. This is a sickly idea. <laughs> it is a beautiful idea. We are brought up with it, of course, like a young girl to the first dance. Young girl? They dance too, like at each night, in arms of men who are not their husbands. Why, yes. I would admit. It's very exciting when you're young and you're sitting on a small gilt chair, your eyes cast down, terrified as you feel your wall down. And then suddenly you see two black shoes, a white waistcoat, a face, its feet. We've just been introduced. I do not know you well, but we love you.
Now that you have found her, what will you do with her? I will do what is usually done at such events. And what is that? <laughs> when it happens, you will know. Mrs. Arnold, Mrs. Arnold, do not let them beat me! Do not let them beat me, Mrs. Arnold! <laughs> she was found on Chinese sailing ship. See? She was disguised with the student. Forgive me, Miss Rogue! Hoo, hoo, hoo! It is believed she was running away with Ma to bring her here from Burma. Dishonor, dishonor, dishonor! He was not found on boat. Where is this man? I do not know. You will tell us where we will find him. You will tell us. I do not know. It is believed you were lovers with this man. I was not lovers with this man. Dishonor. We shall soon have truth with this man. Hoi!
What is it with my father? It is his heart. And also for some time now, he does not seem to want to leave. Mother, I am frightened. I am frightened because I love my father. And also because if he dies, I will become king. And I do not know how to be. Many men learn this after they become king. Mother, I have been thinking much on the things Mrs. Anna used to tell us in classroom. Slavery. I also think of what she said of religion, and how it is of a good and noble concern that each man find for himself that which is right and that which is wrong. These are good things to remember, my son, but it is also good to remember who has taught them.
not very brave. Here is something belonging to you. Well, put it on finger. Put it on, put it on, put it on. Please wear it. Always. No, no. 
Powell for showing respect to 